I'm really excited to share how I made this cool black geode sweater because it just turned out so awesome. I sell a lot of my things on um, Instagram and this sold in 15 minutes. I've never had something sell that fast. So s keep watching for the final result because it's really cool. So anyway, I started by tying geode tie. Uh, I started with, I like to start in the center of the geode and then I tie out the rings um, going out in concentric circles, but I like to pull a little bit extra on each side so that it's not a perfect circle. Um, and I like to kind of scrunch it. You can see there I'm scrunching it up so that it's got a more jagged edge. They're not just um, circles. I've seen sometimes, especially my first try at geodes, it ended up just kind of being a bunch of circles. Um, the way you avoid this is by just making it a lot messier. Um, you can see in the end um, how some areas are puffier, um, and that's why, because that's how I like to tie my geodes. <laughs> So I got my geode all tied up and I put it in the magic tracks circle there and um, stuffed it in so that the ice, the reason why I do this um, magic tracks is so that the ice can stay on top of the geode. Um, there's still some white space you can see where it doesn't, where the ice kind of falls off of it, but it's better than nothing. So I like to do it this way. Um, for this one, I'm doing the die or the ice. So I'm setting the, um, the ice down first. Here, I'm just trying to evenly distribute it. I started with better black. All these colors are Dharma. Um, I use this, just a plastic spoon sometimes to distribute the dye. I've got soda ash mixed in this dye, but also when I do these denser sweaters, they have soaked in soda ash for at least 20 minutes.
The next color I did was Timberwolf. This is one of my favorite blacks. It's really cool. And then I did New Black. And last I did Raven, which is the blackest of the black. So I kind of also um, spread a little bit of that Raven on the other areas that didn't get as much dye as well. Uh, I decided to just do a bunch of different blacks because I just wanted to see what it looked like. So, and I think it turned out pretty cool. So this is after the ice had melted. Uh, there was still some white area, so I decided to add a little bit more ice and a little bit more dye. Another thing I do is I check the bottom of the rack down there. I lift up the rack to see if the dye has gone through. And if the dye has not gone all the way through, I do this as well. And now for the untying and rinsing process. With these sweaters, they take like at least 40 minutes a lot of times to get the color all the way out. Um, more average about 20 minutes, but I've also started tying these so that I don't cut between each tie. They're all connected and it makes the untying process a lot easier. Um, but here's how I'm untying it. Then what I do is I rinse in cool water to get the soda ash out, uh, turn the water up to hot, and then I, um, I add some Dawn dish soap and rinse that with hot water until some excess dye lifts. Then, depending on the project, I'll put it in hot water and boil it. For this one, I'm, I want to say I just put it in um, the washing machine on hot. Um, the first couple of washes i usually advise people to not wash them with anything else just to get that excess dye off but for the most part it should not bleed onto other things There you can see the Dawn dish soap. And that's what it ended up looking like. 